It's James Clyburn is with us now, the South Carolina Democrat, the House Majority Whip, kind enough to join us. Uh, Congressman, do you think we need a federal gas tax holiday? Well, thank you very much for having me. Oh, you know, yes, I have for some time now been talking about uh, the gas tax uh, holiday uh, for all consumers. Uh, the president uh, has, I think, rightfully so, addressed this issue part of the way uh, with his tapping into the strategic reserve. That's fine. But I don't think that goes quite far enough. We need uh, to equip uh, especially rural Americans uh, with some relief uh, with gas tax. We've done that. When we're trying to get this economy uh, back on track after COVID-19, uh, we uh, gave a lot of relief to a lot of business people, a lot of restaurant owners, and other uh, people who uh, were having difficulty. But during all of that time, people, especially uh, what we call uh, the essential workers were trying to buy gas, and now all of a sudden, uh, the gas tax has gone, uh, or the gasoline uh, per gallon has gone through the roof. So a gas tax relief would be, uh, I think, a proper uh, way to address this issue. Is it your sense then, Congressman, that that's exactly what the president's going to do by the end of this week? Well, you know, I don't know exactly what the president's going to do. I have not talked to the president about this. Uh, but I think from what I've heard today uh, that this is what he is considering, uh, and I think is a good thing. Now, you know, I'm no expert uh, when it comes to economics, but I do talk to people. I've been traveling this country quite a bit within the last 30 days. I'm talking about in states like uh, Georgia, Florida, Michigan, Ohio, New Jersey, and everywhere I go. People are addressing uh, the cost that consumers are having trying to stay afloat. And this is a fundamental way to address this issue. All right. You say you're not an expert on economics. I, I would disagree with that. You've had some very good economic discussions <laughs> with me. Uh, but Congressman, um, I'm wondering, you're very good at politics. In fact, many people say, if not for you, Joe Biden wouldn't be in the White House right now. Uh, but now there are concerns among many in your party that he shouldn't, you know, re-up for another four years in 2024. Are you in that camp? No, I'm not. And, Neil, I think you would remember this. About halfway through Bill Clinton's first term, that's all I heard. He would never get reelected, But he was. The same thing happened with Barack Obama. Never would get reelected, But he was. And so I think that what we ought to do is just continue to stay focused on what is required of all of us to get this country back on track. I am in the camp of people who believe that the country needs to address some fundamental issues and stop going off on all these tangents. And that's what we're trying to do, talk about whether or not the president should run again. And we have not gotten to the midterm elections yet. Let's get these well, I think a lot of them are alarmed us. by what's happening with the economy. I know the president says we're not in a recession. Others disagree with that. Uh, just out of curiosity, do you think we are in a recession? Well, for a lot of people, we are. There's no question about that. If you can't afford to buy gasoline, you are in a recession. The investor class in this country is not losing any money. Individuals, yes. But as a class, investors are still making money. Corporate execs are making plenty of money. That's not the well, issue. But the investors, issue is, when you say, say investors, they're losing money on the market. You know that, right? I mean, I said that, that's the pretty investor obvious, right? class. As a class, okay, well, that's, investors. That's a large class of people who trade stock, right? That's true. I'm not one of them. Uh, but okay. the people. Well, let me ask you, while we're on that subject, sir, while we're on the subject, uh, when you hear all this talk within your party that Joe Biden shouldn't run, it's that he's too old and, uh, you know, he's, he's showing his age. Is that a concern? Do you think that's a legitimate concern? I don't think he's too old, no. I just heard a 95-year-old later today who many uh, TV stations have had on, uh, the grandmother right. uh, of Juneteenth, 
95 years old, and I have been saying, and I will say again, age is chronologically a thing to talk about. The individual determines uh, what is too old, not the calendar. You know, when you talk about Joe Biden, uh, at his age, he's 15 years younger than one of the sharpest people I've heard from today. Uh, Ms. Ola uh, is uh, a very sharp woman at 95. All right. Now, you, you, you were talking about the environment could change mightily, and you're quite right to go back in history when it looked very doubtful for Bill, Bill Clinton, even after the Republican wave. He came back a couple of years later and got reelected by a comfortable margin. The difference with Bill Clinton, we're told a lot, Congressman, is that he was flexible. He could, you know, read the writing on the wall, see which way the parade was going, and in his case, get in front of it. There's skepticism that Joe Biden can do the same thing. Do you think he can, or will he be hostage to progressives in your party who seem to be calling the shots? Well, you know, uh, he won the nomination when uh, a lot of progressives in the party said he had no chance. I cannot tell you what they said to me. A lot of people called me saying I was crazy for being for <laughs> Joe Biden. And I uh, look back on it now and says, who was the crazy one? You will sell yourself short if you sell Joe Biden short. Fair enough, Congressman. Very good catching up with you. James Clyburn, the House majority <laughs> with uh, a very close confidant of the president, was in the president's corner, particularly in South Carolina, at a crucial moment that helped pave the way for then candidate Joe Biden to become the president of the United States. He was a big part in that. In the